we meet again. Sorry for that cringy intro, however, let's get straight into the video. In this video, we're going to be showing you the best ways to get them gems in Anime Simulator because everyone needs them gems to summon on the banner and to get fruit. So, I'm going to break down the top three best methods. The last one is going to be the best, so make sure you stay to the end to see how it's done. Okay, so starting off, there's obviously going to be your quest. Your quests do give a lot, a lot of gems. As you can see, there's 5k for that one. If you go to the daily, 1k, 500, 1k. 20k for that one 10k you get you get the point you get the point right that is what i'm trying to say quests are obviously really good which everybody knows about so let's jump into the second one the second method is playtime i got a lot of gems from these two i think i got 2k with this one and another 4k with this one i'm pretty sure and i also got two rerolls so that is also really good so make sure you afk overnight so you can get them playtime rewards i've just done a speed run of this video yes yes that is right but it's because the new update for anime defenders is around the corner so i want to get this video out and once i get this video out make sure you see me live because i will be recording the new anime defenders make sure you come to my channel and have a look at that let's get straight back into the video okay so as you can see this is the map if you don't know how to use the map when you look straight this is going to be the straight of the map. So as you can see, there's volcano area here and there's also a snowy area. The volcano area is going to be over here and the snow is over here. And by judging of the map, there's going to be a bridge to the left. Is there a bridge to the left? Yes, there is. So that is literally how you navigate the map. A lot of people get confused on that, but it's fine. So we're going to go down to this dock over here. When you go down to this dock, you're going to see a NPC. This NPC will give you a lot of good quests for a lot of gems. These quests do not even take that long. I would say 10 minutes max to complete the quest. And obviously, you can do other quests while doing these. The NPC is going to be Dark King. And when you speak to Dark King, he's going to tell you to kill a lot of NPCs. It's going to be 150. So I'm pretty sure it's starts at 50, 100, then 150. Correct me if I'm wrong. I cannot remember. I did them quests all yesterday. And trust me, I got a lot of gems. Because if you go to my inventory, we have 42 companions. And we also have spun on the fruit banner. I don't know. I spun like seven fruits. I really wanted to get them cool fruits. However, stopping the yapping, these are the bodybuilders that you're going to want to kill. But I'm going to show you the best location to actually do this. So if you go to the hospital, I'm pretty sure this is. Yep, this is the hospital. You're going to see a lot of this dark patches, right? You're going to go behind the hospital. There's going to be four bodybuilders that actually spawn. The way I like to kill these is obviously... Hits one, hit another one, hit another one, and then hit the other one, yes. And then I like to fly up in the air and just, you know, do what everything you have, like so. And that also gives you a lot of gems by passively doing that quest. Okay, so after he tells you to kill them, I'm pretty sure he tells you to kill the pirates. So I'm going to go and show you all of the locations for all of the NPCs. So let's go to the map. The pirates are going to be in the top right. The ninjas are going to be at the bottom. And at the top left is going to be a type 2 of whatever. And there's also going to be pirates on the right, on the left side. If we jump over to the left side right now. Okay, so once you have flown over the bridge, you're going to see a lot of different things. The fruit dealer is going to be on the right. There he is. There's Doflamingo. If you don't know where he is, go to the Shogun Castle and you'll obviously find him. But there's going to be some NPCs, and as you can see, they don't really spawn. But I found they spawn at the back left over here. Also, this is a dojo, so make sure you go in there. But I couldn't figure that out for the life of me. It took me so long. But yes, this is going to be the tier 2 pirates. This is going to be one of the last quests you get with him. I couldn't find them for ages, but they are right here. So make sure you come over this direction to get them tier 2 pirates. However, this has been Milk. I hope you enjoyed this video. I probably won't do a lot of videos on this game because this game is not that interesting to me. The only reason I am actually playing this game is just so I can give some content and to help people who actually need it. So there you go. That is the best way to actually get them gems. So make sure you do that. And you can also AFK the bandits overnight to get even more gems. But this has been Milk and I hope you have a blessed day. Day.